to have a boyfriend, which is fine, by the way. I know it's fine. No. What? So you've got a boyfriend? No. Right. Okay. <laughs> with Sherlock Holmes. At him. You jealous? We're not a couple. Yes, you are. Who, who the hell knows about Sherlock Holmes? But for the record, if anyone out there still cares, I'm not actually gay. Well, I am. Look at us both. <laughs> You're a great boyfriend. OK, that's good. I mean, I always thought I was great. Now, Sherlock Holmes is a very lucky man. Oh. Jeanette, please. No, I mean it. It's heartwarming. You'll do anything for him. <laughs> Don't make me compete with Sherlock Holmes. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh. you'll be fine in the morning. Just sleep. No, I'll be next door if you need me. Why would I need you? No reason at all. You look sad when you think he can't see you. I've met someone. Lovely. Yeah, we're getting married. Well, I'm going to ask anyway. So soon after Sherlock? Mm, well, yes. What's his name? It's a woman. A woman? Yes, of course it's a woman. <laughs> you really have moved on, haven't you? Mrs. Hudson, how many times Sherlock was not my boyfriend? Live and let live. That's my motto. Listen to me. I am not gay. On the house for you and for your date. Do you want to eat? I'm not his date. I need to get some air. We're going out tonight. Actually, I've uh, got a date. What? To where two people who like each other go out and have fun. That's what I was suggesting. Get a candle for the table. It's more romantic. I'm not his date. There's another bedroom upstairs if you've been needing two bedrooms. Of course we'll be needing two. Oh, don't worry. There's all sorts around here. Mrs. Turner next door's got married ones. Bachelor John Watson. What the hat is it anyway? Bachelor. What the hell are they implying? Still hanging around him. Yeah, well... Because it's a tract, I suppose. No, we're not. Hey, sorry we couldn't do a double room for you boys. That's fine. We're, we're not. John, there's something... I should say. Uh, I've meant to say always and I never have. Since it's unlikely we'll ever meet again, I might as well say it now. Sherlock is actually a girl's name.